most of the flashlights on the market uh, that are designed for tactical use uh, in low light shooting with a pistol are designed with a, a couple problems. And one of those problems is that they are too bright. And how can a light be too bright? Well, once you find the person that you're in a gun battle with, it's handy to have a very bright light. You can blind them, you can see them better. Good idea to have high lumens. Problem is, when you're searching, your eyes, your pupils, constrict when there's a lot of light. Then when the light goes off, then they return to their larger size to, to be able to take in more of uh, what's out there with a limited light. So your eyes are constantly going back and forth if you're doing the uh, what most experts recommend, where you're turning on a momentary burst of light, checking the area, turning your light off, moving to another position so that in case they would start shooting where they last saw the light, you're not there anymore. So when you're searching, you actually want a light that is not as bright as when you find the bad guy and have to engage him in whatever way you're doing, hopefully not lethally. This is why a better flashlight system is needed than what currently exists. One of the problems with the lights that currently exist that have lower lights and higher lights and a strobe and a red beam, switching back and forth between all of them. You're, you're in a panic, your, your fine motor skills have mostly gone away, uh, unless you're a, a real warrior that fights all the time in gun battles, but most of us aren't, aren't that kind of person. So we need something really simple that can give us low light and then another solution for a brighter light. And I've come up with a pretty good solution, I think.